Chris, I believe you've got pole position, and uh, obviously it must have been a bit cold and a bit fast out there, but your bike looks a little bit uh, strange. What's happened this morning? But second hand, what happened is um, the water pump sheared its impeller shaft, so the motor was running very hot, and I didn't pick it up because it, it went up so quickly, and um, well, subsequently the motor seized. So Royce, just having a look at the lap times, I believe you're sitting second, so you must be quite happy. Just tell us about it. Yeah, well, behind Chris, good friend of mine, He's my main competition, yeah. But otherwise, the bike's going well, other than falling off earlier on. The, from anti-freeze came out and I fell off, but no problem. Be out there. No, not quite a second difference. I mean, how, do you fancy your chance about catching Royce or Kuss today? Uh, I think there's a fair chance, yeah. A half a second on a short circuit like this is not that easy to cut. It's not that easy to find, but we'll try our best. Um, well, firstly, uh, we went out and uh, the track was very cold. Uh, the tyres were, weren't working all that well. Uh, but we settled down and uh, I've done a good time for this morning. And um, we'll just have to wait and see what happens in the race. We'll move on to the Continental Super Singles. The man took to win this one, number 40, Chris Zitzman, clocking a time of 34.53 seconds in practice. Royce Munnery's closest competition, 34.66. Super singles, they're running slick tyres like you find in your Grand Prix machines, and these boys really move out on the track. Number 45, Bruce Verdon, pitching a little bit late in the race, is underway. Chris Zitzman getting a tremendous start there. Looks like he's going to move to the front. Number 40, Chris Zitzman, a very tall rider, six foot four tall, very lanky body on this machine, and he moves right to the front on his Yamaha. Chris Zitzman, number 40, on his Yamaha, moves to the front. A whole gaggle of riders following them. Royce Munnery is in that. Ian Walker's also in that bunch. Jeremy Wood is also looking pretty good right at the stage, but Chris Zitzman is rocketing ahead in this race. Chris, one of our top super single riders in the country, leading the championship at this stage. A tall rider, but look how he throws the machine around the track, no problem at all. Looks over his shoulder and says to himself and his mechanic, I'm doing all right. The rest of the field is going to have a hard time trying to catch Zitzman. Flying out there on his Yamaha, looking unchallenged at the stage. Looking very good. Early on, Chris said that the wind and the temperature was a bit of a problem. The tyres weren't going to hold too well on the track. They're running slicks and these need to build up to a high temperature to work properly. And then they really stick like a bug to a windscreen. But right now, it's Zitzman in the lead and Royce Munnery charging very hard. Whoa! Munnery goes down, he overslides and loses it. Ends up in a cloud of dust, looks for his machine, finds it. But I don't think that machine is going to want to work anymore. That lets Zitzman move even further ahead into the lead with his closest challenge out in the dust. A real pity about Royce Munnery really losing it on the corner. He was Chris Zitzman's biggest challenge and now his race is run. But Ian Walker has inherited the challenge for second place. Walker, no slouch, clocked the fourth fastest time in practice and he's going to go out there to try and inherit that first place from Chris Zitzman. But Chris Zitzman Ever cool, ever composed, not making a mistake here. That's the corner of Munnery just took a sprawl in, but looking over his shoulder, Zitzman sees that Ian Walker is way behind, and he knows he can now cruise a little bit more. There's only a few more laps left. Zitzman charging. Whoa, I spoke too soon. Ian Walker seems to be catching up a bit. Ian Walker seems to be catching up to Chris Zitzman, and Zitzman's going to get signs from his pits to let him know that Walker is now catching, and he's going to have to start pulling out the stops. This Walker can fly around this track too if he wants to, and that's what he's doing out here today. Those tyres must be warming up, and they must be on racing temperature right now, because these machines are really flying around you, and the lap times are being fried to a sizzle. Zitzman, the height of concentration on that face of his as he heads into that all-camber turn. Gears up and rockets down the straight again. Super single machines, these guys race them on short circuits only, and believe me, they fly. They know what close and tight racing is all about, and the top man at the moment is Chris Ditzman, who's leading this race. He's also leading the SA Championships at this time of the year. And his hardest challenge, Royce Munnery, who fell out early on in the race. And Ian Walker now trying hard to try and close up the points gap. Lean slightly off on the inside, you'll see the pad. There goes the pad down on the track. He uses that as a feeler to tell him where he is and how far he can lean that machine. Zitzman flying around this track and the rest of the field having to be content to ride in his smoke. 
Number 40 once again there. Chris Sitzman really smoking out here. Ian Walker's charging hard, but he's not making much of an impression. Sitzman got orders from his pits that Walker was catching, and now he's really pulling out the stops. Coming down the straight once more into the off camber turn. A tall rider, Chris Sitzman. One of the tallest single super riders, but he really works that machine around this track. No disadvantage to him at all. You can see the long legs. Look at Walker. He doesn't quite get that knee down as far. I see Munnery's machines back in. He managed to pick himself up. A very gallant move. He looks back. He sees, oh, there's Zitzman behind me now. He says, he shakes his head. He says, I'm all right. He says, I'm all right. And he comes into the corner where he took that flying leap off the machine early on. And he's way down in the field. You can see how dirty those letters of his are. They're going to be thankful for these letters today, not only if they fall off, but it's bitterly cold out here, affecting both tyre working temperatures, bike working temperatures, and also the rider's ability to work in this cold weather. But Sitzman says, I'm hot today, and he's proving it out there. He's moving further ahead, opening up that gap between him and Ian Walker in second place. The whole field coming down here, very popular form of racing, single cylinder motorcycles running on slicks and special frames that the guys build themselves. And Zitzman is proving to be top here on his Yamaha today. Ian Walker is on a Honda in second place. And he's catching him. Ian Walker is catching him. I don't know what's happening to Zitzman. He's slowing down a bit, but Ian Walker on the Honda is catching up to him. He's trying around the outside. But it's still Zitzman in the lead. He's not letting himself be phased out by Ian Walker. He probably felt Walker. Walker came next to him and thought, I'm not letting this happen and pulled way ahead again. The rest of the field doing their best to try and build up championship points. Once again, then number 12, Royce Munnery looking down, trying to see what's wrong with his machine. It's a miracle that he's still in this race after that fall of his. But these are different type of people who race these super single motorcycles with these slick tires out on these very short and tight circuits. Blue flag goes out to tell one of the back markers that there's a man trying to pass him. Oh, it's not a back marker, I'm mistaken, it's Ian Walker, he must have passed this one in the back. He must have passed this one, and this one puts on a strong challenge once again. Walker now in the lead on his Honda, and Zitzman gasses the Yamaha in second. Charging down the straight, Walker must have taken him down the back straight somewhere. But he's not going to be content, and this one goes through on the inside of the corner once again. This Zitzman is incredible, he waits for the last minute climbs on those big disc brakes and powers on the inside of Walker. Walker now back to second. Zitzman moves the Yamaha further up front. A hard, good, clean ride by the cool Chris Zitzman out in the front here. And I don't think Ian Walker has an answer to this man Zitzman, who's gassing that Yamaha even further into the lead. Ian Walker on the Honda, now back into second place. He passed Zitzman two or three times during the race, and Zitzman came right back Passed him again, as if to say, Walker, what are you doing here? I'm leading, I need these points, and I want to stay there. Look at this man's contrasting style. He's actually on a motocross machine which has been converted. But believe me, he is having fun out of there. But still, Chris Hitzman leads this race. Ian Walker having to be content with second place unless he can catch him on this last lap. This one catches up to a back marker. He'll have to get by quickly because Walker's not all that far behind. He gets it through and goes past him. Looks over his shoulder to see where Walker is. He says you're far behind and comes through to win that heat. Chris Zitzman on his Yamaha then, taking top honors for the day in the super single class. And Ian Walker on the Honda having to be content with second.